my bedroom is turning into a plant nursery. So I use any day possible to work in the garden. Number 82, demo day, late March, 2024. I just saw some really exciting things when I got to the garden. To my utter delight, the tulips in the garden were blooming. I honestly thought I'd planted them too late to get blossoms this year. Looks like I was just in time. The strawberries were also looking fine for now. I'll split them up more really soon. <laughs> more exciting things. My current wishes are starting to bud. Hopefully all these plans are right and spring is really arriving. Everything was still wet, so I decided the best use of my time was to get the second hut demolished further. The most important thing was to get an idea of what the walls looked like inside. I know the inner wall covers were garbage after years of exposure to the elements. But I still had hopes for the wood of the actual walls. Either I have a lot of demolition ahead of me, or I'll have to build another roof. While there were endless spiders inside the walls, what I saw left me hopeful. The wood looked fine. I just climbed on a stump to see what the roof looks like from the top now. And there are flowers on both the cherry thing, a plum cherry, cherry plum, we'll figure it out this year, and on my elder tree. So I'm very happy. So the problem with the second hut is that the center of the roof is still very intact. So all the outside parts are demolished. The bottom is fine, the middle is fine, but that just makes it very, very hard to take it apart because I probably have to take it off in one piece and I can't do that. And it would probably break when we take it down. So I don't want to do that. So I have to figure out how to take this roof off without it falling on my head, without it falling on top of pepper, without anyone getting hurt. And yeah. Mm -hmm. When I worked on the garden house roof last summer, I said I'd never want to touch the sticky tar stuff ever again. Hopefully, this is actually the last time. I had the GoPro set up for the second angle, but managed to empty the cart without backing up the footage. Very slowly, I worked my way along the roof, taking off tiny segment by tiny segment. As the rest of this was recorded with the GoPro, we'll have to leave the story there for now. Instead, let me take you on a walk through the waking forest. The frogs definitely think spring is here. It was a rare day with little wind and no rain, so we decided to fly the drone. Unfortunately, we also crashed it again. Making me choose between obstacle avoidance and 60 frames per second is really stupid. We had planned to go to the garden for some aerial footage after this. But after this crash, the drone needs repairs, and I'll have to make do without a photo from above. On the way back, we noticed a lot of frogs celebrating the spring and working hard on the next generation. To get the footage, my husband spent a lot of time lying around quietly. We also found these mayfly larvae in the ponds. Don't worry, the little friend was returned home. The highlight was definitely the frogs. Aren't they beautiful? When we startled one of them, we packed up and left them in peace. 
cute little bumblebees like this one are why we try not to disturb leaves and twigs after a fall. We made it home before the rain and I repotted my cucumber seedlings. I really should have read properly before sowing them there. Despite my lack of a clue, most of my little seedlings are growing well. Once the greenhouse arrives, they'll get even more room. The Boldo too is growing well. Finally, they are recovering and using the bad growth as a trellis. The rain arrived in time for me to get wet during Pepper's evening walk. I'm very glad he'd already gotten a proper walk that day. We could keep it to the bare minimum. My neighbor calls it emptying the dog. He's not wrong. This is actually the dinner from the night before, but it just fit the story better here. I know, these kinds of shifts are normal in vlogs, but I don't like the trickery. So time jump to the night before. I finally caved and bought the same exact garlic press we lost. I hope the quality is the same too. I hope the mover who found the box enjoys my garlic press. I'm aware that sounds sarcastic, but I mean it. I really hope it didn't go to waste and someone is using the press. Frustrated by the damaged drone and exhausted from a day outside, dinner was another simple one. Canned potatoes, mushrooms from this week's produce box, some onion and garlic, and a package of wiener sausages. I still had some sour cream I'd fermented left, so I'd mixed up a quick sauce with some herbs. There are a lot of sausages in here, but we'd gotten close to expiration meat again at the local farm. They really needed to be eaten. Often a simple dinner is the ideal dinner for us. Knowing where the ingredients come from makes it all the better. So long and thanks for being here. If you want to support the channel, check out the links in the description below.